Hi Sagittarius, welcome to your singles reading for April. This is Mary and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new or returning, welcome and thank you. So Sagittarius, I decided to bring the singles readings back. So if you're familiar with my channel, I did do them uh, like the end of last year. So I did have a poll on my community tab that I asked viewers to participate in to vote for what kind of readings they would like to see per month on the channel. And the singles reading and the spirit messages was part of one of the selections that was most voted for. So they are coming back. So all the spirit messages are out for the month of um, April, as well as the love connection readings. And this is the spirit messages reading, uh, the singles readings. And then I'll be doing the general readings and then the bonus readings. So those are five readings a month. So if you're interested in that, you can check out my channel. If you're new, uh, feel free to, you know, like, share, subscribe, comment, hit the bell, and uh, you won't miss out. And if you do, thank you. So Sagittarius, these are coming back. So I hope everybody's doing well, staying safe. And this is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, male or female. Could be past, present, or future energy. You never know. Um, take it how it resonates for you. So we'll see what messages we get here for you singles looking for new love. So this is intended for singles who have really no one right now or not really even a connection. They're wondering when is new love coming into me? You know, who's coming towards me? So we'll see what kind of energy we get for you here. Sagittarius or Sagittarius spirit, please. Thank you so much. Sagittarius singles. Everything you need to know, Sagittarius, is down below in the description box as well as the pin top comment uh, decks I'm using. And there are links there if you choose to purchase them for yourself. A lot of people ask me the decks I'm using, so they are below and they are affiliate links, so just uh, FYI. And um, how to reach out for personal reading, that info is below. Your playlists, Love in General, are below if you'd like to go back. I consider them timeless. Um, and if you'd like to tip, donate, send a gift, or anything like that, that's below. And if you're not comfortable with PayPal or you don't have a PayPal account during the premiere, only Super Chat is open for uh, donations or energy exchanges if you choose to do so. And also social media links are below. So, and if you do, thank you. All right, Sagittarius, singles, new love, who's coming towards them. So what I'm going to do here, Sagittarius, is I'm going to pull one for this incoming new love who's coming towards you what is their energy like so it could be energy around them affecting them or just their own energy and then we'll get a spirit card here what is their spirit energy like love card here what is their love energy like and then we'll clarify that energy with the tarot then we'll look at how and where you may meet this person possible time frame of when and then what kind of connection it will be for the two of you so all right so let's get an energy of new incoming love to Sagittarius. Singles, new love who's coming towards them. What is their energy? So we have here door to personal healing and happiness. 34 is seven is a very, very divinely guided spiritual energy. So this could be somebody who is very spiritual. They have uh, might have gone through a lot of healing in their life. Uh, they have peace and clarity um happiness and joy i see the rainbow there kind of like for luck i see a lot of greenery here for growth and expansion so i feel like this person could have done a lot of um healing work a lot of soul expansion on themselves here and uh they now know their own value and worth and they've opened that door and they've walked through and they've healed and now they're like in a happy energy so that is a good energy so let's see what their spirit energy is like what is their spirit energy like Sagittarius singles new love who's coming towards them what is their spirit energy like Sagittarius singles okay we have here we have self-love wow i can't make this up. <laughs> somebody who has gone through a lot of work on themselves here they've opened the door to their own healing and happiness in self-love wow knowing their own value and worth loving themselves now is the time to love nurture and heal yourself healing wow 
Self-love is not simply a state of mind about feeling good. It's a state of appreciation for yourself that grows and matures from actions you take to support your body, mind, and soul. Wow. So this person has gone through, they could have gone through a lot here, but uh, they've healed. They're happy. They love themselves. Wow. Wow. It's a good energy. Sag. Could be male or female, like I said. I know it shows a woman on that uh, photo, but it doesn't matter. You could be male or female watching this, and um, however this resonates for you. So, all right. So let's see what their love energy is like. What is their love energy like? The Sagittarius singles, new love, who's coming towards them. <clears throat> what... Okay, and we have reflection, illusion, self-examination, distortion. So we have 13, which is four, <clears throat> which is about foundation, structure, the basis, stability. Whenever I get this um, reflection card, it kind of always reminds me of like mirroring, um, and mirroring reminds me of twin flames because you mirror one another because you're one of the same soul. So, so this person could be looking for their ultimate soulmate, their ultimate person here. But they also could have done a lot of that inner reflection of themselves, of that uh, self-examination. And they've healed themselves. Whatever illusions they had or distortion they had about themselves, their body, their image their energy, whatever it is here, I feel like they really, you know, looked in the mirror here and they really, really worked on themselves here. Now they are in a much better place physically, emotionally, um, energetically in all ways. Wow. And with one, three, four, I mean, they could be just very stable now. And you see, you know, the reflection on the water, water deals with love, emotions, feelings. So I feel like they really uh, worked on their emotional energy here. Wow. Their emotions, whatever they need to work on. So let's clarify this energy for you, Sagittarius singles. All right. So I feel like as far as love energy, I feel like they, I feel like they have self-love now. And they're such in a good space that they're ready to share that love with someone else. Okay, so, and they may, you know, <clears throat> this person may bring that out in you in some way, if that makes sense. So let's, let's clarify this energy. This is a big deck, okay. For Sagittarius, the Sagittarius, for this incoming person you love. That's too many. Let's clarify this energy. New love. Who's coming towards them? The Sagittarius. Thank you so much. Okay. Feeling that one too. So we have the five of coins. The eight of wands. They took action. Whatever, you know, this is like feeling isolated, lonely, you know, abandoned, out in the cold, neglected kind of energy. Kind of like a woe was me kind of energy. But they took action here. So we have the Eight of Swords in reverse. So the Eight of Swords is that mental entrapment. So whatever mental entrapment they had, they took action and got themselves out of that. Nine of Cups to their own. And that's the happiness, joy, and fulfillment, and the self-love here. The Nine of Cups. Nine of Cups. So, you know, this is about fulfillment in every single way. Happiness and joy, wishes and dreams coming true. So they're... They're wanting now their wish, their dream come true. They've worked on this energy within themselves, this like neglected, abandoned feeling. They took action. They got out of their own mental prison here. They did that reflection work, that uh, deep soul searching work and heal themselves. And now they're ready for fulfillment in every single way, happiness and joy. And they're in that energy also, feeling abundant. And I felt that. Wow, so this person did a lot of work on themselves, even maybe uh, financially. All right, let's get one more. What do we have here? All right, so 
So we have the Queen of Cups, so they could be a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. But then we have the Nine of Swords, too, which came out. I only wanted one more, but I got two. So I feel like, because we have the Eight in Reverse of Swords is getting out of that mental imprisonment. So the Queen of Cups can be, you know, that self-love ready to give their cup to somebody else. So they could be a water sign, but they don't have to be. You know, maybe there's stress, you know, fear, worry, anxiety here about um, the future, about giving their cup to their to a special person. Feeling a little stressed about that, but they feel, you know, they're feeling pretty good though. I think they're more stressed about finding the, their person. <clears throat> but I think all areas of their life are pretty good here or that's them overcoming that nine of swords energy also because you have the queen of cups there so having that self-value worth love um kind of energy so let's see sagittarius i think somebody's here ready they're ready you know they did the work on themselves they're ready now to give their cup to somebody so let's see how and where you may meet this person. So we have the Six of Cups. We have the Eight of Cups. We have the Five of Wands. Let's get one more for how and when you may, well, how and, wow, how and where. Wow, so now we got the King of Cups. So it definitely could be a water sign, but now we have a matching couple. And with the Six of Cups over here is a soulmate energy, could have been a past life energy. So definitely soulmate, divine counterparts here. But as to how and when you may meet this person, um, I'm just looking at the cards here. So we have, I'm seeing the staircase here. So something with stairs. So, I mean, it could be, I mean, once we're all out of seclusion here and, you know, everything's back to normal, I'm getting like maybe like at a mall or somewhere, uh, you know, in a staircase or something like that. So if you, you know, if there's somewhere where you have to use a staircase like frequently, whether it's like out shopping at a mall or, you know, even for work or something or something outside, um, especially if you live in the city, you know, you have to go up and down a lot of stairs, you know, different places, you know, that's maybe where you may, you know, meet this person. I'm getting like outside or something like that. Um, could be near water because we have a lot of cups here. Also. All right, so I'm getting near water and something with stairs. So outside, outside or near a stream or something like that, or a river or a lake or something like that. All right, so I mean, you could be out if you jog or you walk or you exercise or something like that, or like on your way to work or shopping or something here where you have to use stairs, you know, however that resonates for you, or maybe just near water. If you go somewhere near water a lot, I would pay attention to that also. All right, so, all right, so let's get a time frame. Seems kind of vague, but time frame. So we got the Ace of Coins, so that is fall. That's fall. Page of Coins. So now we have Earth Energy, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, and the Ten of Cups. Wow, so this is summertime into fall. <coughs> I'm feeling the end of summer into fall, but we have long-term, a beginning here that could lead to a long-term solid offer, and then the whole Ten of Cups here with the happy home and family, fulfillment in every single way, matching couple, past life soulmate energy here with the Six of Cups, wow. But as far as uh, time frame, saying the end of summer into maybe the beginning of fall, all right, so let's see what kind of connection this will be for you, Sagittarius, with this person. Wow, faith, wow. Divinely guided energy here. This is, uh, 
This is the Hierophant. So faith, spirituality, commitment, a long term, marriage here. Queen of Swords. And now we have Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. So this is truth, clarity, um, open, honest communication. But you can always use, you know, the sword can be used to cut away energy no longer serving, standing up, not backing down. Sometimes it can be a little cold energy. This Queen of Swords, uh, they could be somebody that's divorced, or you could be king or queen. Here, uh, let's see. <clears throat> let's get one more of the connection here. The Sagittarius. Oh, I got two. Well, here's your energy, Sagittarius, <laughs> the Wheel of Fortune. So this is fate, destiny, divine timing, uh, things moving in the right direction, things going in the right direction. And then the Three of Coins, about working together, teamwork, collaboration, maybe taking things very slow, seeing where it goes, working together. Somebody may be a little cold here in nature, maybe because of maybe a divorce or something like that. But this could lead to a commitment here or a long-term commitment or even marriage down the road. Because we do have something meant to be here with the Wheel of Fortune. And then working together here and building very slowly kind of energy. So let's see. Let's get any more, any more for the possible connection here. Well, so we have the Ace of Wands. Fiery, passionate, new beginning here, divinely guided, exciting um, kind of energy also. Then we have the Seven of Wands. Being a little, you know, fiery, passionate energy again, but being a little defensive on guard. Uh, you know, fighting. It's either fighting for what you want or what you believe in or fighting off what you don't want. So... I do see that, you know, we got the Ace of Coins and the Ace of Wands. So stable, secure, new beginning for the long term. Growth, you know, prosperity, abundance, fire, passion, excitement. And then we have some defensive energy here. So is there any other energy here? Any other energy here? The Sagittarius. The Hermit. So somebody may do some uh, soul searching here, figure out what they want, take some time to think about it. Queen of Wands, so now we have Leo Sagittarius, so very fiery, passionate energy here, go-getter kind of energy. So somebody's going to think about it here, I feel, and decide here to go after what they want after being maybe uh, a little defensive or on guard about this connection, maybe because of the past. And like I said at the beginning, uh, this person has healed from whatever was lacking in them and in their life. And they looked in the mirror and they did that work on themselves. And they may do, they may uh, <clears throat> bring that out in you where you have to now do your work on yourself and heal yourself and get in that same energy. And that's that hermit energy. And that is your energy, King or Queen of Wands, Leo Sag Aries. So, yeah, so painful, heartful ending here. So, you know, I feel like, you know, maybe this person, you know, they had gone through a divorce or something like that, and maybe you have too. So maybe they've already healed and done their work, and maybe you haven't. So meeting this person, it kind of reflects back onto you and now you have to work on yourself it's kind of like that twin flame energy where you um bring that out in each other and kind of cause each other to look at their inner i don't want to say demons but what they need to heal all right so i don't know let's see anything else here you sagittarius so we have the star here. So here's the healing, divinely guided energy, faith, hope, optimism, wishes and dreams coming true. And then manifesting a brand new beginning. So someone's going to realize here, okay, this is my wish, my dream come true. I just got the word fantasy, <laughs> like my fantasy come true, something like that. Uh, healing. So healing from the Ten of Swords, going into the Hermit mode, and then realizing fire, passion, what you want. 
and then making it happen here with the magician manifesting this brand new beginning between the two of you emperor here so somebody taking the lead control taking charge moving this forward and as i say that six of swords so moving forward uh leaving the bs behind and going into a more comfortable peaceful place here of balance and harmony after a period of self-reflection healing rejuvenating soul work nine of wands you know keep fighting through it all and coming back together reuniting celebrating again five of cups and the five of pentacles is almost the same energy so i feel like they may trigger you to do the same kind of work they had to do within yourself with the five of cups energy and now we have the empress so we have the emperor and the empress so now we have divine counterparts here so divine soulmate twin flame energy and I had said that, you know, you cause each other to do the same kind of work on yourself. So knowing your value and your worth, the birth of something new kind of energy. So we have, let's see, we have fire, Leo, Sag, Aries. We have uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. So there could be any of those signs. I think we have pentacle energy too. Page of coins. Yeah, so they could be literally anyone because we have all, all the signs here. Sagittarius. So I see this may be like a soulmate twin flame connection where they've done their work and now, or, or it could be you, but this is their energy. So they've done their work. They've healed. They moved on from the past, whatever endings they went through, whatever lack they felt in any way in their life, mentally, physically, emotionally, uh, whatever here they they did all their work but now they look like this reflection here is like could be someone that you meet and it reflects onto you and the hermit's really sticking out to me here so they could be uh like a beacon of light here and you see the light shining there so here's the light and it's shining down so it may cause you to have to do the same type of healing within yourself and then realizing okay this is my person divine counterpart and then having that stable a lot of stability with the ace of pentacles what could be long term a lot of fire and passion and uh, we do have cups here six of cups past lives or definitely soulmate energy here wow sag all right sagittarius uh best of luck to you sending you many light love and blessings and as i always say with my channel is to always always shine your light